introduction at all. My bad. Um, welcome back. We're going to attempt to play some dark chess. So for those unfamiliar, um, the rules of the game are quite simple. You can see um, your perspective of the position based on where all your pieces are located and where they're capable of moving. So that's the only part of the board you're capable of seeing. Uh, let's seek a quick game. Let's look for, like, I don't know, a five-minute dark chess game. Hey, look, we found an opponent, somehow. Um, oh, is this the same opponent that refused to move earlier? Perhaps it is. But, yeah, if we can find an opponent, and they put a seek out here at the website, um... I'll drop the link to the website here. It's uh, here's the command to get the link, dark-chess.com. But it's only located um, on their secure server, so it, for some reason their web server is not set up properly to do SSL forwarding. Um, so you have to type in HTTPS for the site to work. But yeah, it's dark-chess.com. And this is a free implementation. The source code is public. Um, I believe it's even public, not public domain, but um, it's got an open license or free license. So as long as you make your contributions free for others to use, you're free, you're free to um, contribute to the source code. Um, so yeah. Um, Let's see. On uh, other news, I just finished playing a Faria stream earlier today. That was good fun. Got to play uh, something that was kind of like Hearthstone in that you have a deck of cards and um, there is a board in which you meld your hand. Um, Oh, is this the... Well, I'm not sure. I missed... Unfortunately, I missed most of the Zug Howard stream. Um, but this is Fog of War Chess, which is exciting, despite my failure to implement it into Lee Chess. And failure, I just mean extreme delay in implementation that's probably going to get more and more prolonged and protracted over time. Not that I'm giving up on the effort, but I have, as I mentioned in my State of the Code address the other day, um, I've got other priorities to implement before implementing Dark Chess. I am eventually going to get to it, but it might be a while. But yeah, here's the basic notion. Um, in fact, this would probably look best if I had my Lee Chess screen capture, as opposed to, um, let's see. Do I have a Lee Chess screen capture for... Oh, wait, I'm in my wrong perspective. That's why I don't see a Lee Chess capture. Oh, but my Lee Chess capture is a different dimension. I stream at 1232 by 693 for that. Um, hey, welcome back. Rem ver me. Um, yeah. I remember we saw you around here. We had some good fun. Um, does anybody remember the rules to this game? Um... For what it's worth, like I say in the stream title, to actually access the website, you go to this site. Um, it's public domain. Well, it's freely available, free to play. There's nothing, no in-app purchases or anything. And also the source code is publicly available, which is pretty cool. You just like set up your chessboard here, and you can see when your opponent moves into one of the spaces that you can look at. It's like, I can see that I can even pre-move. Wait, I can't pre-move in this. Never mind. But um, I can see that there's nothing on these bottom four ranks. Uh, if my opponent had a white piece on one of these bottom four ranks, I could see it. Um, by the virtue of the fact that the pawns can advance to these squares. Um, it is interesting. Well, I guess it makes sense that you could actually see the square the rook stands on that's not darkened you, so it's not just about seeing squares that you control but also squares that your pieces stand on yeah let's play a 5-0 
Let's see, is there somebody seeking a game out here? I want this game to finish and it to give me credit so that I don't get stuck playing this anonymous opponent a third time. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, right, that, that would be the notion. That's what would have to be implemented server side. It's doing that in the Lee Chest source code is going to be difficult, but uh, Dark Chest is pretty cool. So, game is over. All right, let's look at Fast Seeks. Let's seek a five-minute. Uh, fine. Well, I guess I don't see an opponent still. Start game by invitation. Do I really have to do this? Because my chat window isn't hooked up to my computer. I uh, want to draw, sure, whatever. I'm not sure what's broken with the site. Um, game is over. Alright, so... I'm going to see if I can get to the lobby and observe somebody seeking a game. I should be able to see that here. When somebody else... Well, here's a thought. Um, yeah, let's start a game five minute by invitation and then we're gonna drop this link over here and so somebody's able to pick that and play it there used to be a table or a graph or something showing who was seeking what game um, but yeah I've dropped the invitation there unfortunately I can't put it in the chat window because uh, the computer and the chat window aren't hooked up but we can see this link here. Okay, well I guess I will manually type this into the chat window because again I stress that my chat window is not attached to this computer. It's a separate device. Oh, never mind. Some of the game has started. Um, Alright, it's my turn. So I'm just gonna play E4 so I can see all the squares that all my pieces can move to. Uh, that includes the square in front of the pawn, by the way. Even though I can't capture forward, I can still see that the pawn can move forward. Um, so, uh, it would help if there were like a plus time button on the site. There isn't, but that would be a nice thing to have. Um, uh, Alright, uh, I guess I say it's your turn. And hopefully I see a move. If I don't see a move, then maybe the site's broken, which would be sad. Um, but yeah, I played uh, 1e4. Being the streamer here, I'm at a slight disadvantage that I can't see any of your pieces. Uh, I played 1e4. Um, So, yeah, you don't get to see the move that I played unless your pieces can attack that square. Um, and I guess once you play a move, it becomes more obvious what's going on. Um, the time control says that you played. I played 1d4. Yeah, I've totally given away my master plan here. Um... Yeah. It's... Uh, oh. It says that I did not play a move. I guess I'll refresh this. Try again. If this doesn't work... Um, supposing this doesn't... Okay, this actually did take this time, somehow. Um, Alright, so my opponent's probably played c5, if I had to guess. Wait, no, it's their turn now. Somehow they're down to three minutes, and I have four minutes fifty-five. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Um, okay. Uh, it says... Um, for me too. So yeah, we, we're playing 
the darkest fog of war dark chess ever. Um, not sure what's going on, but it looks like the site's not completely working. Uh, quantum temporal server bug. Speaking of which, no, um, recently, I don't know, Microsoft's put out some interesting bug fixes that have actually introduced bugs. And, yeah, I guess it's difficult to support a wide variety of environments, and they certainly need to... Oh. Uh, this is not my site. Yeah, my site, if anything like this happened, I would be on it um, pretty quickly. Oh, now it's my turn. Or is it? Um, but yeah, the further business customer... Oh, you've got... We've got two games going on. What? Where's my other game? Active games. Wait. I need to refresh my games list. I just see the one active game. Oh, it's my turn again. All right, we're going to play B4. We've exposed um, his pawn on C4, uh, C5. Oh, I've got a minute. Perfect. It's just all the time we need. It's all the time in the world. It's the quantum temporal server bug. All right, so apparently, um, okay. Oh, he didn't move there. I thought he was going to do something ambitious or aggressive. Um, no such luck, apparently. Now I have to guess, when is he going to play g6? I'm going to guess this move. Um, but yeah, maybe if you refresh the page, that causes uh, the timer to switch. But that's okay. We got a minute. It's <laughs> oh. ouch. That's too bad. There's no checks in this game, though. All right, let me refresh and just see if I've run out of time yet. No, it says I'm okay. Um. Yeah, this is almost as confusing as trying to build. Well, I don't know. I suppose the noble thing to do is offer the draw, since neither of us can seem to figure out what's going on here. And of course, now that I offer the draw, he's going to be capable of playing or something. I don't know. But for record, I'm totally winning this. It's because I'm down a pawn. No. But no, I, my board vision's pretty cool here. I can see most of these squares in the center. That means if he places something in the center, there's a good chance that I can take it. Um, so unless he's like doing a queenside fianchetto, which he might be doing, uh, I'm pretty good here. I have to remember not to play knight c3 because there is a pawn on b4, which I guess I'll eventually go back for. Oh, invite him. Okay, sure. I guess this is the game. Um, not sure exactly what happened there, but... Um, something happened. Do -do -do -do. I need to be able to... Uh, it says my Microsoft settings aren't configured the way that Microsoft wants them. That's too bad. Um, so, um, <laughs> oh wait, what happened to the game now? One minute. It's still his turn. Yep, yep, yep. So, we're going to find people to play against, and it's going to be fun, and it's going to work. Oh, now it's my turn. I'm going to win, I'm going to win, I'm going to win somehow. 
Oh wait, I forgot. I was gonna predict that he's playing g6. So now he's probably played bishop g7. And now it's too late. And it's not your turn. Oh. Like heck it isn't. Okay, fine. Maybe it's not. Um... Okay. Um, I can't find any of his pieces. We push the pawn. Yep, he does the predictable thing. We go for mate. All right. Okay, so now he's back. Okay, he saw the threat, presumably. Um, hopefully this is the right thing for me to do. Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Don't tell him. Um, yeah, this is pretty spiffy. Don't tell him, don't tell him, don't tell him. What the heck? What the heck? There we go. We won. Yeah. Yeah, this is a pretty cool variant. Um, so he was able to evade most of my attacking moves. He did go for a queenside fianchetto, which explains why I didn't see where any of his pieces were. Um, all right, so, okay, maybe try inviting me to a game. Um, mm -hmm. um, maybe somehow that will work better than if I'm inviting you and somehow it just doesn't work at all for some unexplained reason. Oh, okay. Okay, so fine. I'll do an invitation. Uh, copy. Oh, hang on. Um, so we got Ian. Ian would like a game. Um, I guess I'll observe this game. Hopefully, yeah. Let's try playing not on a phone. Maybe this will work slightly better. Um, oh, a 10-minute game. All right. And he totally won't take advantage of the fact that I'm streaming. Um, okay. So, oh, he got into another game. Interesting. Uh, so yeah, you need to be careful playing this variant. Closed out the stream. Oh, cool, cool. Um, yeah, unfortunately that's the one problem with the way this is set up, is that a uh, person listening on the stream can pretty much see what I'm up to. Um, and I have to keep my comments fairly generic when people are listening. Right, right. It's funny when, uh, even when people are playing poker, you would think that this is a game where there's risks and, um, okay, it's White's turn. We'll see how this goes. Um, But yeah, there's people who get greedy, like, cheating with a poker server where they're able to see all the cards and make bids that they're not supposed to be able to make. Um, so people can be found out, even in poker, where you'd think that, like, there's no way to find a person out for cheating because it's all random. Um, that they're 
any strategy has some finite uh, chance of being executed. But you can be pretty suspicious that a person's doing things that make no sense. Oh. Am I in two games at once? Um, maybe. Let me check how many games I am in. Not started games. We got this five minute game, which I've not invited anybody to. We got this active seven minute game. Um, which means I guess I'm going to win this one. So, um, okay, so I guess I'll resign my game. Hopefully this doesn't force um, him to resign his other game, which would be hilarious. Um, so wait, where's my game? Not started games, five minutes. Um... For anyone interested in five minute, here we go. Oh, that's interesting. So he actually puts the literal link there. But then it can do a substitution. And if there aren't, like, multiple colons in the string. Okay. So yeah, this is exciting, guys. We're anticipating the playing of a game. Um, so I'm sure that, um, oh. Wait, did I lock up their game somehow? All right, so yeah, in terms of strategy, uh, the variant is I don't know. There's a lot of ways to um, approach the variant, either aggressively or passively. I wonder if um, 1d5 is just like the best move for black unconditionally. Uh, it doesn't help that black can't see white's first move. Um, in some sense, that makes it a lot easier for white to open than it makes it for black to open. Although black could open c5, and you could end up with interesting dragon stuff. And, well, not dragons, but just Sicilians in general. Um, Sicilians can control quite a few squares. Um, notably f4. So if white like puts a bishop on f4, black could be pretty sure that it's just hanging. But why would white ever put a bishop on f4, other than um, he wouldn't expect black to be attacking it? I don't know. Um, I guess you could open with like c6 and d5 is black. That might help level the playing field a little bit. Um, you could just do an Alyokin. You could, actually that would be entertaining now, wouldn't it? Um, because if you play knight f6 on move one, you could see did white play e4? Did white play something other than e4? Did white play g4? <laughs> um, Alright, I'm supposing it's not my move. All right, we're still waiting for an opponent. It'd be cool if there were possible to watch live games in progress on the site. Currently, that's not possible. It's kind of a downside of um, just the way this is right now. 
Um, we were discussing on Leech Us what would it mean to observe one of these games in progress, and I think what that would mean is you would see an empty board, but also you might see pieces appear on the board that are the pieces that both players know are attacked. Like, both players are attacking pieces, and there's like some mutual arrangement where they know I'm attacking this, my opponent's attacking that, and they both know where some subset of the pieces are. But that might be too much information. In fact, it probably is. Because if you're showing the pieces that I'm attacking my opponent's piece and my opponent is... I can see that my opponent is attacking my piece. Um, if you include that... Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I think there's some problem with it. I'm struggling with what it is. But there is some issue somewhere. Alright, so I opened um, 1e4 again. Best by test. Yep. Good luck. Oops, I typoed. Whatever. I think he knows what I mean. I think he knows that I mean good luck with the space and not the politician. Um, but that could be confusing. So, um, oh, it's my turn. Good, good, good. Um, all right, it's not a Sicilian. It's not any of these things on A, B, C, D, E, or F. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. Somehow he took that. It was knight c6. All right. That's good fun. Um, so let's just play a little innocuous move here. Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. That was he's played a French. That wasn't knight c6. This this wasn't a Nimzovich. This was a French. And he just took on b4. Um, all right. So. Uh, let him question whether or not my stuff is defended. Um, yeah, I know he's correct in concluding it's not. That is a reasonable and, in fact, correct conclusion here. Um, which just says I've misplayed this pretty badly. So let's do something a little more subtle. Um... All right, so we got d5 in here. Um, <laughs> oh, wait. No, I can't be subtle in that regard. Um, you can't see where I retreat. Or advance, for that matter, but you can suspect. Oh, actually, he knows that I didn't go to b5. He doesn't know where I went, but he sees that I'm not on b5. Okay. Um. So let's see if we get this to move. I could be pretty reasonably certain where it went. Um. Okay, now he probably went back. As that would be... Oh. Hang on. There could be some trickery here. Yep. Always suspect the trickery. Although, it's not even that tricky. It's just I have to be aware of what's going on. Okay, that's a free bishop. There was no time for him to play knight c6. Um, so let me just go back. And we go back again. Just play some sensible defensive moves. Uh, 
Um, let's also put this out here. So I can't exactly see where everything's at. Not exactly. To be more precise, not at all. But, um... So... It's my turn. Oh, I see what he did. Okay, we'll uh, deal with that. Okay, so there is no silly trickery there either. Um, let's get some more sight as to what's going on. There's one piece in particular that concerns me. Okay, so he's moved that, so let's take here. Um, got a light squared bishop on the loose. Um, so I need to be careful where I put my stuff. So he did capture on c5. He could be anywhere that c5 would let him go. Um, that's a curious decision. Um, let's take here. If this is safe to take... Okay, I don't like this knight moving about freely. Let's deal with that. And try to confuse him, too. Oh, nice! <laughs> Surprise! I did not castle, but I did put my rook on g1, which you kind of knew about already. Um. So, this is risky. Let's try it. Okay, this looks like a sensible try. There we go. Yeah. Uh, it's an interesting game, for sure. When he played b5 there, when this pawn moved away from the b6 square, and it obviously couldn't capture the other pawn, <laughs> yeah, I thought you thought that. Sure. Um, there's no rematch button, but that's not a problem. Start game by invitation. Copy, paste. And, yeah. We'll see just how much I can trick him in these games. Yeah, it's an excellent variant. I would like to see it at some point. It's going to be really tough to process on Lee Chess, and I'm not sure how you would even show the games. Like, my personal perspective would be, I don't think cheating is going to be a problem. Um not really concerned about that, although every other person on the site is paranoid about cheating. I don't think it's an issue. I would just have the games like... I don't know. I mean, if people are going to stream playing the game, I would. Yeah. Well, you don't even encrypt the moves. You just transmit from the server this is your perspective of the position. Oh, started. All right, so let me pick this out of my active game list. Okay, let's go to the game. Hey, look, I'm playing myself. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess I'll offer myself a draw. Or resign to myself or whatever. Yep. So let's refresh. Game is over. I lost to myself. But also, uh, game is over. I won! I'm the greatest winner. Not started games would include this.
Um, I don't see that. Um, so I guess I'll post the link again. It's actually the same link. Um, so yeah, I this site needs work. Um, mm -hmm. uh, this might just mean it doesn't work so well on a phone, or I don't know. But yeah, I would rather just have the game transmitted um, so that anybody could see it, except the two players playing, which would only see their perspective. Um, I think that would be the only issue. So that you wouldn't want your opponent to see uh, the full position. But anybody else, who cares? So, yeah. I, I guess that's as far as I can go with it uh, today. As it appears that, um, unfortunately, getting an opponent who doesn't play on a phone is a little bit challenging. And the site need, seems not to work so well with the phone. So, yeah, it's a cool variant. Um, I mean, let me try refreshing, because he's asking... Yeah, I mean, I've got this active game against myself, but I resigned it. I guess I'll try creating a new game. Start game by invitation. How about this? A Samsung S8. Yeah, no, I think that the server just doesn't work at all with phones. Um, oh, it's like a computer. Did not know that. Maybe they got something against Samsung. And who can blame them? No, I'm just kidding. But, um... Here. Here, far, wherever you are, I believe that the heart must go on. We'll stay forever this way. And I'll feel you near my heart, and my heart will go on. And on, and on, and on. Alright, let's play against myself. Alright, it's... It's Todovsky's turn. Um... Not your turn. But it is your turn. But it's both players' turn. Oh, look, I can move the board around. Isn't that cute? Like, I can take this entire rank of pieces and highlight them. Like, can I glitch the board somehow? I can drag these squares around. Yeah. Look at that. I'm able to move, like, an entire rank of pawns around and around. Alright. Thanks for the games. That's been fun. Um, I'll just resign to myself again. I'm boosting. And then if we refresh, we see that we won the game. Or maybe we lost. It's like the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, or Schrodinger's cat, or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, apparently the site's not working so great at the moment. I don't know much about the Samsung S8, but... Maybe it's using a browser that's unsupported with respect to the site. Maybe the site only works with Chrome. I don't know. The source code can be found. Um, source code can be found at GitHub. Server code, front-end code, API description. Future describes this is non-commercial, free project without budget, so speed of development is not too fast. Um, currently, zero Bitcoins have been do uh, donated to that cause. Yeah, I, I just think this would be a lot easier to integrate into Dark Chest than to try to bring up, even from this really well-implemented server and front-end implementation, um, which I'm sure lots of work went into, but developing an entire server is a challenging task. Um, so I might just move on and play a different game here, because site doesn't seem to um, do that well with the mobile phone. Um, this is okay, this is okay, this is okay. Wait, what? No, that, I misread something there. That said Tchaikovsky's piano concerto, as opposed to Todovsky. I'm like, I didn't write a piano concerto. 
Uh, there's a GitHub comment citing a musical work uh, being imported into a music database. So that's pretty cool. I mean, so yeah. We'll have to try this again some other time, maybe some Friday or some time when a lot of people are around. Because it tends to only work when people have access to PCs and we have a lot of people here. And even there's no way to spectate games, so that's unfortunate too. Um, maybe, maybe what I'll move on to here um, would be Relay Chess. Because um, people enjoy this too. Um, I s oh, crud, I started on the uh, on the Twitch integration piece. Um, so this might very well be completely broken. I Maybe not. Maybe it's okay. Maybe I haven't completely obliterated it yet. Do we have Relay Chess? We do have Relay Chess. It's just been moved. Um, actually, that's, the link is wrong. Add command um, Relay HTTP Relay Chess.moo.com. Okay. Del command relay. And then we're going to re add this command. Um, okay. And status relay chess, anyone? Probably not. Um, but yeah, the, the site's been moved. This is easier for me to set up and develop. It's just not having the same uptime requirements as the official relay chess server that we had earlier. Um, there still are no puzzles or anything. There's the rules section that's still here. If you listen really carefully in the background, you can hear the music, which I'm talking over. Uh, there's the Relay Chess Discord, and community is coming soon. No, that's actually a lie. Um, that's not coming for quite some time. But the fact that we have a Discord is still pretty cool. We still don't have the same like hosting costs or popularity or whatever, but uh, the site is still active. I can still like click play the computer. Hopefully I haven't busted this. Yeah, this is still playing. It's all JavaScript based here. Um, so take that, and then we attack the queen. And no, it does move the queen, so it's like kind of intelligent. Uh, <laughs> I say it's kind of intelligent, it's actually pretty bright. Alright, so let's go back and castle. Wait, can I not castle? Oh dear. Well, uh, I guess I cannot castle for some reason. That's funny. Am I the top relay player? Well, I'm the only replay player, so we'll go with yes. I am the top one. Um. <laughs> Uh, I assume that Stockfish was attempting to castle there. Um, oh, <clears throat> I did successfully castle. I wonder why it wasn't working earlier. Um, so let's hit the queen. Man, even at level one, this is ridiculously difficult. It's not looking very deep, but it's deep enough to beat me. It's done it before. Um, so, check. yeah, there's another check, there's another attack, um, don't have much choice here but to go back, uh, unfortunately here's best. This is level one? Holy moly. I've got to dumb down stockfish sometime. Hey, that's a free pawn. Uh, I, it's not actually free. Um, okay, fine. Okay, that defends the queen. Very clever, very cheeky. Um, so the center pawn is well defended. 
Um, okay, we're going to go over. He's attacking my knight. Wait, that's a free Epon. I don't trust this. Very clever. That's why I get for trusting it. Um, wait. So, so now what? Am I sure that? I'm, oh my goodness, this hurts. I'm being defeated by my creation. At least it's doing a good job disposing of me. Like, holy moly, this is unfair how strong it is. Oh, oh, did I win by default? Have I done something to confuse it so severely that it won't move? I think I win. Alright, no, what did I do though? How did I bust it? Did it just get tired of beating me? Move is null. Excellent. I win. Victory is mine. Eat that, stockfish. Illegal move, C4, C2. Oh, what? What do you mean C4, C2 is illegal? That's... Oh, right. No, it actually is. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, you got greedy. You got too greedy, Stockfish. You didn't see that my king defends that. Victory is mine. What could be more satisfying than victory by default? Alright, well, it attempted to make a move, so... Oh, I, that's just a pre-move. Yeah, no, I just win. Victory's mine. We'll take it. Anyway, that's not broadcasted or anything. Yeah, it's... right... Somehow it missed the fact that my king protects the C2 pawn. Um, and that's, like... Well, I'm sorry, that isn't Stockfish, is it? Um, no, it is Stockfish JS, I think. But coded to, I don't know... Coded to be extended for relay chess moves. But it didn't consider the possibility that my king... Something other than a piece that moves like a rook is defending that square in a way that defends like a rook. Um, maybe because if that square were vacant, it would be illegal for white to play king c2. So maybe this is just king specific, but... Yeah, I did beat it. Uh, let's pick Stockfish 1 again. And watch it clean my clock a second time. Um, so... Oh my gosh. That's a really strong opening. Oh, it needs to say E8, H8, though. So it's playing it a bit of a handicap, because the move it wants to play is not considered a castling move. So it needs to learn that. Wait, so now we go back to F8. Yeah, no, it's totally a monster. Let's be right. Let's be real about this. Um, okay, so... This, D, this D5 pawn is adequately protected. Which is unfortunate for me. Alright, we'll take the rook. Um, jeez. That's pretty bleak. I thought that this is, like, supposed to be level 1. Um, it's actually, like, completely obliterating me. I don't know how. 
And it certainly wasn't doing this when I was testing earlier. So we'll call it a bug, maybe? Alright, so we sacked a bishop. Hopefully we get some compensation for it. Um, okay. Oh, if I play f3, it just takes on g3. That's mean. How dare you do that? Um, but yeah, I don't have any constructive moves here. Well, now, if it takes g3, that's not the end of the world. But that's not to say I want it to take g3. Let's play this. And then take on d5. And then d6 is, like, not the greatest idea ever. Um. Jeez. What the heck? Everything's, like, overprotected. Unreal. I need to teach pro uh, the actual Stockfish engine how to play this. If only so I can have a tool to help me cheat and defeat this. Because this is not fair. <laughs> this is anything but fair. Um, <clears throat> so, I think I want to exchange knights if I... Well, no, having the knight is useful. Um, I don't even know what I want to exchange here. It's that much of a mess. Maybe rook g4 is sensible, or rook h4 is sensible. Trading a rook for a knight so that I have the only knight remaining, but his bishop defends f6. I can't push d6. I could push a4. Okay, very crafty. It pins my queen. So I guess we're doing an exchange sack. Uh, and it promptly returns the exchange, as it should. Um, okay, now it's threatening bishop d1. Um, what? What? How? What's the deal? Check. Oh, that, that, Check. that's nasty. All right, so I attack your queen. Um. Yeah, no, I'm not exchanging this rook. Sorry. Although I don't have any choice. Um, all right, then I have to go back to h1. What? What? No. No, that's horrible. How could you do this, Stockfish? How can I coerce you to play another illegal move? Jeez. What the heck? Um, I can't even play King G1 here. King G1 would be amazing, as it would just confuse the daylights onto Stockfish, but, um, we have to accept defeat. Jeez. Jack. Amazing. So, okay. Something's got to be wrong with the configuration of this engine. It's got to be, like, missing the part that says make this easy enough for a human to beat it. Wow. Yeah, I've got to boost this volume. So, that's Relay Chess. I've been bested by the engine.
and it doesn't even know what the legal moves are. And it even castles incorrectly, and it still beats me. Well, I think it's fair to say that humanity does not stand a chance against this engine. Jeez. So, okay, where do we go from now? So we had the Dark Chess or Fog of War Chess server. We got this Relay Chess server. I really don't know where to go next with this. Um, yeah, I've got to, like... Somehow I've got to prepare for, I don't know, playing a different game here. Because chess is too hard. Fairy is too easy, at least at the beginner stuff. Chess is too hard. We need something that's just right. Something entertaining and enjoyable and... I don't know. Um, one of the things I'll ultimately have to work on is uh, getting the bingo chess... Um, I'm sorry, stealing the button from Zug's bingo chess site. Uh, this being bingo chess.html here. I want to steal this button, now that he's published the source code, and put that into the Relay Chess site, and so you don't have to log in to play this. And then once I understand that, then I want to take this uh, Bingo Chess site and uh, just have my own development copy of it, built not using Eclipse. And if I can do like a stable build, um, then try to improve the application to be more stable. Because evidently it's down. I mean, yeah, we can connect with Twitch. And we're connected now, but is this really what we're supposed to see? Connection closed. I think there's somehow something more to it. Um, so at some point, after I get the Relay Chess thing, Twitch integration going, then I want to spend some time trying to figure this out. Um, getting that to build and deploy on my site and maybe help Zug out with the deployment on his site, making that more stable and whatever. I'm not entirely convinced that Java is the right pl uh, language for it, but Java should work just fine. Um, oh, but also I do want